What's up everybody, Alex here, and today we've got another episode of Rogue Running. This time, we are playing Dead Cells, because Dead Cells is absolutely one of my favorite games of all time. Um, when I was kind of thinking about making a list of games that I thought were some of the absolute must-plays of the, of the last generation, this game was right up at the top. Uh, this is a fantastic game. As I explained with uh, the Games and Breakfast series I had done, uh, the connectiveness of the controls is unlike almost any other game I've ever played. Uh, once you get a feel for this game, you are just zooming through these levels. Um, collecting scrolls of power as I'm doing now. Now, I've always been a tactics guy, so I'm going to take the tactics, and I'll explain why shortly. Um, I didn't get the choice of selecting um, a bow and arrow at the start of this uh, game here, or this run. Uh, but the bow and arrow and the, uh, the slicer... Um, the slicer traps are definitely my preferred way to play. Um, so, oh, I just dropped an item there. A balance blade. I will take that balance blade. I will... Yes, I'll take that there. So, I'm definitely looking for a, uh, a bow and arrow, crossbow, some some sort of range thing. Help with my survivability. Now, oh, we got a cellar door. Oh, someone's talking to me on the other side. There's a lot of uh, extra lore things in here, but I haven't quite figured out what any of it means. So I'm sure that as I play more, I will uncover more. Um, so one of my goals here is I only have another minute, but I want to find the uh, the entrance to the next stage here because if I do it within two minutes, that allows me to um, to get a whole bunch of bonuses. Uh, kind of it kind of uh, encourages not necessarily speed running, but um, it encourages you to go faster, uh, and there's multiple ways you can play, like if I can kill 30 enemies without taking any damage, I also uh, get like a bonus of sorts, but for me, I don't have that kind of talent, so I go for the speed. Uh, now what I like to do generally is to find the actual exit and then explore a little bit, uh, but right now with only 30 seconds, I might have to just try and find this exit. There it is, Toxic Sewer, so I still technically have 20 seconds, but I'll show you what I mean. So. The game kind of, so if you explore and you take your time, you go slowly, you have the chance of finding more scrolls of power, which I definitely should have found more, but I only found the one, which kind of has a uh, cumulative effect as I move on. But as you can see, because I got to this door within two minutes, I get to go in there. Here, 30 uh, enemies killed without taking damage. I've not accomplished that, so I got to go here. Anyways, I get a ton of money. I get 20 cells, which I do appreciate. And, oh, I get some items at the bottom here. Okay, so I got a throwing knife, which is a relatively high level, a golden amulet, and we have knife dance, which is uh, a skill. So I'm going to take the throwing knife. Um, it's not quite the uh, it's not quite the bow and arrow that I like, but what I like to do is I like to stack um, bleeding damage type uh, type skills together. Oh, I might be able to actually look at that. I'm going to unlock an additional health flask. Perfect, so my health potion can be used three times. That is greatly going to help me survive, so I need to unlock three more items before I can go any further, which is fine. So I have a ton of items I still have to unlock. Uh, getting cells is a slow process, that's for sure. I'm, hmm, do I want to reforge anything? So damage to a frozen target, that actually ironically goes really well with the thing I just had. I'm actually going to reforge this. Yes. All right, so I have additional ammo. I do deal extra damage to a uh, burning target. I shoot an arrow behind me. Okay, so I'm going to go with Hunter's Instinct. I like skills, so I'm anticipating that I'm going to get some skills. I only have a grenade right now, which is not my preferred way to play. Toxic Sewers. Okay, so I believe I have either six or eight minutes. I can't remember to get to the next portal there. Then I kind of start to slow down a bit. But um, anyways, all right, so let's go. Toxic Sewers can be tricky. Ooh. Because uh, all of a sudden you can find yourself, uh, oh no, I'm so, I can't believe that. I, my, my grenade actually freezes, guys, so I would have had the bonus. That is just silly. All right. But, uh, anyway, so Dead Cells, honestly, it is an absolutely fantastic game. Um, I'm really happy to be kind of covering it. I feel like I should be better at this game than I am at, uh, Enter the Gungeon. I know that Enter the Gungeon, some of those runs were pretty cringe, um, but with Dead Cells, I should be at least semi competent even though I just ran in the wrong direction without looking at the map. But still, you know, Toxic Sewers is a bit of a maze. So let's see if I can get a decent run put together here. But this game is incredibly unforgiving. Uh, when you find yourself in trouble, oh man, are you in trouble. So I could technically slow down here, but I'm trying to find the schools of power. See, there's a diff as I said, there's different ways to play. I could be trying to kill as many guys, get as many souls as I can. I am keeping an eye out for elites or any guys with uh, stars above their head, which would indicate 
that uh, they might have an item that I could uh, acquire or blueprint for something I can unlock. All right, there we go. Okay, just trying to find more space here. Haven't found any scrolls yet. There's a scroll. See, these are incredibly valuable. So, okay, so here I can only choose between brutality and the green. So I'm going to go with brutality here. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with brutality. I generally like to go tactics whenever I can. But the disadvantage to that is uh, what you'll start to see is a small hole. What you'll start to see is if I, um, I only take, um, like, tactics over and over again. Ooh, question mark. So there's a snail's trail. Um... If I only ever take tactics, the amount of bonus experience, not bonus health, sorry, that I achieve is reduced. Um, so eventually I'm in a position where I'm like, hey, I want more tactics damage, which is my blue items, but uh oh. I just took more damage for no reason. But um, if I keep taking tactics, I won't. Okay, let me see here. Oh, tons of bleeding damage. Assassin's Dagger. Sure, I'll take it over the balance blade here. Okay. So yeah, if I keep taking it, I won't be able to uh, to actually level up my um, my health at all, which makes me extremely vulnerable in later levels. So it's all it's all a bouncing act of damage, DPS, and health. Okay, let me see here. And I've gotten in this habit of constantly ground pounding. Oops. Oh, that's a little dangerously close. I'm actually going to potion up here. I have three potions, so may as well use them. And I don't think this toxic sewer should be too much of a challenge. Unless I get bursted down. Okay. I should also mention that, uh, unfortunately, because of the nature of the licensed music of the game, I've had to turn the music off. If you intend on buying this on Switch, which the new update just kind of came out on Switch, um, you will have music. I just have to deactivate it for uh, the purpose of YouTube. YouTube doesn't like us recording stuff with licensed music. So I've had to disable it. But you will have that at home. And honestly, it is fantastic. Um, I've seen... I don't own it on the Switch, but... Okay, we have a couple options here. We've got another fire grenade. I'll take it. I still don't have the items I like for my ideal build here. So we have the ramparts. I still have a little bit of time. Still have a little bit of time. So I'm going to teleport here because I know I can get right back to the ramparts. So let me see if I can find another scroll. Or if I can find more skills. I need actually a store. Would be beneficial. But I don't know if I have enough money right now. That might be a store down here. Hold on. You gotta kind of keep an eye on the map. Ooh, a chest. Perfect. Come on, give me a slicer. Crossbow. Okay. I'll take this. Hmm. Three arrows at a time. Okay, I'll take this here. Sell this. Not bad. And, I, you know, the added money helps. I do prefer to go with uh, bows and skills. I'm definitely a tactics person, which I think I've said. So, I'm happy with that there. I wish I could remember if it was a six minute. Oh, that's an elite. Oh, what a bad... Oh, this guy's following me. Okay, hold on. There we go. Alright, so golden amulet, so I get to throw flammable oil down and reduce my the damage I take. Cool. So you'll see the ground is covered in like an oil there. Yeah, so my, my bow is piercing. I didn't actually read what it does. Oh, I don't have the double jump yet. Okay. I always like taking down elites. I don't have the build I actually like yet. I need those slicers and crossbow mattocks. That's my thing. Oh, that's a lot of money for a skill. I need it. That was a lot of money to pay for a skill. Okay, so as you can see, because I've taken a couple tactics things, I only get a 32% increase in my HP, but I'm going to take it. Let me see here. So I have 20 seconds to get back to the portal. What's up here? Is this a store? It is a store. So again, no crossbow medic. Now the time does stop when I'm in the store. As you can see, it says pause on the right. So, okay, I'm going to head back. I think it might be eight minutes. But you know what? I'm going to be better safe than sorry here. Plus the ramparts is... Um, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good stage if I want to get to the boss I know how you can kind of just go right through the top there um, it's a really interesting level design because it's kind of like oh it is eight minutes so I had extra time oh well something I can learn for future runs now we have the money we're getting our cells we have some options here the damage you take is inflicted on the enemy damage from projectiles reduced from 75% that's actually pretty legitimate the wolf trap is awesome too it immobilizes enemies and takes and increases the damage they take hmm this is not bad. This tends to go pretty well with my crossbow stuff, but this is awesome too. 
You know what? Reduce damage from projectiles. Okay, I'm going to take the reduced damage from projectiles. Yes. Sell this here. And that's why I want to get there before uh, 8 minutes has passed, because those are big upgrades. Alright, let's invest here. So what should I invest in? The health loss is now locked. Um, hmm. I gotta think here. So this gives me more money on things. You know what? Do I have... Okay, let me take a look at my bows and stuff. So... A nice bow. Briefly freezes enemies. I could try that. Or... Hmm. What I'll do is I'll move towards unlocking the ice bow here. There we go. I have unlocked the ice bow. And we will... Hunter's grenade. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna hold on. The root grenade. Roots enemies to the ground. I wouldn't mind trying that. But then again, I'm not a grenade person. I, I like to... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do the endless quiver here. Um, oh, I can actually take, pick it up. Pierce is the first target. This actually seemed like a cool... I don't even know if I want this ice bone compared to what I have here. I don't want the ice bone compared to what I have. Okay. Actually, you know what? I can reforge. So I can kind of... You know what? No, I'm going to keep the, the uh, piercing here. Because I don't have any of the other things I want. So 80%... Uh, so extra damage if you're near a um, another thing. You know what? I am going to take... Hmm. Okay. I'm going to take... Support. So I'm going to take that. Because, again, I am a tactics person. I do like tactics. Let me see what I can do. I don't have the skills that I usually use, though. So I'm a little stressed out. Usually I want the crossbow manix or the slicers because I like comboing bleeding damage. So what I can do is I can set up so the slicers are just eating away at the enemies and the bosses while I'm shooting from afar. If I come to the boss with my current build, I am not comfortable in being able to take them down. Because the concierge, which is the first major boss, is a tough one if you are not prepared for him. Okay, this is what I meant by the ramparts being interesting. Um, oh, chest right from the start. Come on, crossbowmatic. No, a sword. I don't want the broadsword. I gotta find a store. So what I mean is, like, the, the, with the ramparts, you kind of have the top part here, which is, uh, which is pretty useful for just kind of running through. But as you dip a little deeper, okay, let me see here. Actually, we do have the flaming oil and stuff like that. Oh, there's the damage already. So, usually with the ramparts, the deeper you kind of go, if you run across the top, you can kind of get to the end pretty quickly. Um, see right here. So, you can kind of dig deeper here to see kind of what's there. Oh, got a smash room. Oh, no! That's not what I wanted at all. Okay, I got to be careful. Wow, I took way too much damage there. So, let's keep exploring a little bit further down. Got this, the door here. Again, I kind of really want to know what this I'm sure in due time I will learn both those doors. Okay. Oh, an elite! Whoa! See, this is where I really wish I had the um, slicer, so uh, he has a shield, so that's not going to be helpful. Hold on. Let's burn him a little bit. Not very useful there. I'm actually going to heal up here. I don't want to risk the damage. Ooh. There we go. Sorry. That was not as... Uh... Oh, downward smash burns the ground. Hold on, what do I have now? So, damage reflected back and damage from projectiles reduced by 75%. That is super useful. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take this here. Sell this. So, I'm going to light the ground on fire. That sounds like fun. Because right now, i am always been a fan of damage over time. And I definitely do a lot of the ground pounding, as you can see. Ooh, not a good play by me again. These shield guys are causing me problems right now. Alright. 
Exploring a little deeper into the depths here. Also, I should mention, uh, this is on Xbox. Um, it's also, it just came out, oh, extra damage there. It just came out on the, uh, the Switch with the, uh, the update as well. So, and I believe it's a free update too. Like, it's completely free. You don't have to pay any additional amounts of money, anything like that. So, Motion Twin has been very, uh, Okay, forget these guys. Those shield guys are so annoying. Come on, there's gotta be some reward here. Okay, I saw an item. What was it? I don't even know what that is. Oh, a chest. I'm glad I uh, dug a little deep here. So we got some cells, and we have an infantry grenade. I'm not a big fan of the infantry grenade, but you know what? I'll take it instead of the ice grenade here. Hmm. Really don't have the build I want yet. This might really restrict the kind of run I can do. How do I get over on the other side? So I want to teleport to the top. Okay, let's keep going. As I said, the Ramparts is a very big level with lots to discover. Oh, and I fell. Oh, that was the definition of a close call. I'm taking a little too much damage here. Ooh, a blueprint. Lightning bolt. Oh, I almost just did not see that scroll of power. Alright, so... What do I do? Do I take extra health here? Wow, I can't believe how damaged I am. Okay, no. I'm gonna continue going here. I gotta be careful. I've taken far more damage than I had expected. But a lot of that's because I'm, I don't have the build that I'm generally accustomed to. Oh, please be ground. Oh. Risky. Okay, because I only have one more potion flask here. Uh, swig on my potion. I want to make sure I find the exit. It's all about risk and reward. And I feel like I'm edging too close to the risk element here. Okay, so now we're looking at about half the amount of health. I think I need to take... I think I need to take a Brutality here. I have a lot of Brutality items. Okay. Let's see here. Let's find the next stage. So there's a... It looks like there's a shop beneath me. Can I go to the shop from here? I can. There it is! Crossbowmatic, and I can't afford it. That is disappointing. Oh, the pain. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can explore a bit and see if I can make enough money. Hold on. I'm short. Oh, no. I'm short about $1,000. I really need that crossbowmatic. I'm not convinced I can beat the next guy without it. Okay, let me see what I can do here. A lot of bur I'm doing a lot of burning damage, though. Oh, another scroll. I've actually had some luck here with the scrolls. Um, I'm gonna take the green. Let's get this health up. It's not always recommended to be kind of a jack of all trades like I'm doing right now, but... I feel a little vulnerable with my lack of health. Okay. Whoa. Oh, I can't believe I took damage like that. Okay, I'm, I'm healing up. Getting too close. Too close. What is that? Why is it on? Oh, I see. I gotta take those guys out to get it. You know what? If I take these guys out, I can afford to sell it. Alright. We got some money. Oh, there's sandals there that I could sell as well to get my crossbow. Oh, wait. This is a higher level thing than I anticipated. So I'll take it. I don't usually play with the whip, but... Okay. But, sorry, it's colorless, so it does damage to burning targets and bleeding targets, and just straight up extra damage, and it's colorless, which means that it's going to give me a bonus, too. Alright. Hmm. Now I have things to think about. I really need that crossbow, though, so I'm going to see if I can get to those Spartans. Okay, so I've still got to move right anyway. So this is here where I think I'm probably going to get... Yeah, so this is the Black Bridge. So that's the boss fight. So I need to get 
400 more dollars here so I can get that crossbow matic, I think. And then again, I have two items that do burning damage. Hmm. Well, one's burning. And I'm doing... You know what? This might work. Maybe today I'm just doing brutality builds. Alright, so it looks like this build is going to go a little sideways compared to what I usually do, but let's go with it. Let's go with it. Of course I didn't do that. So there's no speedrun on that particular level here. So lightning bolt. Hold to inflict critical hits. Okay. Um, where do I want to invest here? You know, I'm going to invest in gold reserves. It's kind of an expensive investment, to be honest with you. But a lot of these items just don't call to me. So you know what? I'm going to call. I'm going to just start putting things into gold reserves. Do I want to reforge? No. Okay, since I have so much brutality. Look at this. Just... Totally useless. The point skill. You know what? Maybe I should take this back. No, because if I get the crossbow matic, I still can switch. <laughs> I've made a total mess here. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go with the 50% health. Food no longer heals me, but you know what? I got the flask, and that 50% health I think is very valuable. And I think I'm going to need it here because usually when I take this boss on, I take him on with the merits of my crossbow maddox and my slicers. And now I am scared because I do not have either concierge. Okay. Oh, the, it's actually uh, useful because I can stick in the air here. Oh, no. There's a lot of damage. Yeah, this this uh, my arrow's not doing anything. Taking damage here, but we're still okay. We're still okay. I'm trying to stick in the air because I know he uh, he does damage like the fire kind of thing he does. I think okay, we might have him here. This electric whip is doing work. Yeah, we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay, keep that dodge. Get that dodge roll going. Oh, I missed him. Okay, I might just heal up quick just to stay safe here. Don't want to fall apart on this first ever rogue running stream of Dead Cells. I should be fine. Oh no! Okay, too close for comfort. Okay, healed up. Now we got him. So if you're not careful, you can do a ton of damage to you right away. Alright, so I'm getting tons of money. Tons of items. Tons of gold. Wolf trap. Okay, I will definitely take a wolf trap here. I'm going to... Alright. There we go. Recycle that. What is this? Tranquility, a new blueprint. Okay, I'll be happy to see what that is. And we have a throwing knife. The throwing knife's not gonna not gonna be replaced here. So okay. We're on to the passage to the silt uh, silt village. Stilt village. And the slumber uh, slumbering sanctuary. Alright, so 15 Hey! Look at that. A minute to spare. I didn't even give any thought to that. We get 20 extra cells. Okay, we're not going to replace this whip. We have a new amulet, so Downward Smash burns the ground again. Except this time we get additional, we get a tactics uh, upgrade too. And this is the knife dance. Okay, I'm taking this here. Oh, no! Oh, what a new mistake. I just sold it. I didn't actually equip it, I sold it. Wow. That was so bad. Alright, and here I can do, uh, I can kind of put things into this legendary forge so to speak I'm not going to because um, these upgrades are more valuable I can't believe I just sold that that amulet oh so silly so 99 DPS there's no enemy near you this is for if you are um, shooting from range hmm you know what I don't know I think I'm gonna just keep putting into the the gold reserves here because the nice thing about having gold reserves hey 
Oh, she doesn't want to switch anything up right now. The nice thing about having gold reserves is that uh, when you start a run, and if I want, if I want, for instance, these slicers I've been trying to get, um, I'm able to, uh, I'm able to do that. Oh, I can't go to the other one because I can't do the, I can't get to the slumber sanctuary. I can't jump off the walls yet. I think it's a skull the spider rune, if I remember correctly. But um, yeah, if you get, start a run and you're not getting the items you want, and you end up at a store, you can. Uh, you can get the items from the store. Yeah, see, I'm not doing enough damage right now. But that's okay. Ooh. Usually I'm doing more damage, so I'm... I, this Jack of All Trades build has made me a little vulnerable. Okay, hold on here. So, oh, we have... Let me see what's up here. Okay, so we have a couple of doors. I need a key. So I do have to explore a little bit. So this is the key here. I do need to cross here. Okay, hold on. I just heard a little glitch. I'm actually super nervous because the first... So because uh, I was actually just starting a run earlier where it made a glitchy sound and then the game just stopped. And um, I lost my entire run. Well, not my entire run. I've been going for about five minutes, but I just heard a bit of a buzz and I got nervous. Please don't crash. Please. But anyways. Alright, so we got the key. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Bit of a stutter there. I'm taking damage by these bowling balls. Oh, it's this guy right here. Wow. There we go. Okay. Now I have tons of money. Oh, wait. There's a... Thing up here. Oh, what chest? I'm glad I pay attention to the map. You gotta pay attention to the map. There's the crossbow matic. Yes, I want you, Mr. Crossbow Matic. Oh, have I missed you. But now I have so many points into brutality and in survivability and everything that. Okay, hold on. Whoops. See? The crossbow matic. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I threw it off the ground. Silly. Okay, hold on. Let's go down here. I have the key I need so I can unlock this door. Wonderful. Alright. This is what I mean, see? Crossbow Matic goes down. The Slicer I think I like better, but Crossbow Matic is still very good. Oh, taking damage. So that guy went down. This is another key, so I gotta grab it. See that? That's why I was looking for it. Oh, an elite! There he is, lead down. That's why I like the skills. Okay, so okay, let's not mess this up. So invisible five seconds without attacking. Okay, I'm gonna take this. So again, I'm getting tactics. Yeah, this is better. Grabbing it, recycling this. That is the smart thing to do. Now I want the key too. Oops. Here's the key. Oh, why do you gotta put those spikes there? All right. Back to the top we go. We have our key. We're in good shape right now. I wanna get that as well. I would really like to upgrade this bow, but you know what? It's it's uh, penetrating attacks actually do a lot of work, so. Okay, we're going to upgrade our tactics, I think. Yes, we are. We want to increase the damage we're doing. Oh, another one. Perfect. We've You know what? We started this game with not so much luck, and we've definitely changed that now. We've had quite a bit of luck. There we go. Where did this guy come from? Why, keep, why do I keep forgetting that those guys drop? Alright, hold on. Okay, here we are. Is that a key? What is that? What is that, cake? I can't even tell what that is. 
All right, should I cross? I don't even know what that logo is. It's, is it nothing? Oh, it's a teleporter room. I can teleport. It's a key. I can unlock it. What's down here? Ooh, the Forgotten Squelcher. You know what? Let's take it. Let's take the Forgotten Squelcher. Now, this is a super cool level. Um, I've only ever played it once before, so we're starting to get pretty far from me. Look at that. 26 minutes. We are well in advance of the, uh, the recommended times here. So, okay. I do not want Frost Blast. Dodging Plants Bombs. No. Knife Dance. No. We don't really want any of these things. So, you know what? We're just going to take the money, I think, here. I actually intended to sell that this time. All right, so let's invest our cells right back into gold reserves, and then let's keep going here. Can I replace? Okay, so I have lots of money now. Let me see. Let's actually take a second here to to reforge some things. So I like I like the piercing actually. We can increase it to the plus quality. Crossbow Matic level five. I think I do want. Okay, we're investing in the the better the better modifiers here. So shots pierce the first target. 10% damage when you're near it. Okay, I actually like that. We're going to leave those. So, the wolf trap. Okay, toxic cloud. We have tons of money, so let's upgrade it. Even though I'm not totally sold on the wolf trap, I will replace it if I can. So, 60% damage to a bleeding tar target and victims freeze. Let's reforge that again. No. Traps with final oil. No. No. Okay, I'm just wasting money now. I don't like any of these. Okay, that works. Bleeding target and poison target because this is going to do bleeding damage anyways. I believe it does. No, it doesn't. Okay, one more. Okay, all these suck. I'm just wasting money. Let's heal up. Refill our potions. Let's go to the Forgotten Squelcher. We're making progress here. We're having a good run. This is good. I'm happy. Now, this map is really, really hard. Um... This is, I think it's one of the hardest ones that I've encountered. So follow the light. What? Okay, that is a, like a lamp thing. So basically, the longer we are in this red shade away from these, like, glowing uh, lanterns, the more damage we take, so we have to stay close by. Oh, why am I ground pounding? That seems like a horrible idea. Alright, there we are. Okay. So I have to find keys. I'm not, do I'm not doing enough damage yet. There's the crossbow doing work. See? It's closing in around me. It's closing in around me. Gotta get back to the light. Alright. Get back to the light and it resets. Another door. Uh oh, there it is. Okay. We can't just we can't just be in that black darkness thing. What's this? I think this is an elite. It is. Oh wow. There we go. That's why I like why I like the crossbow. Okay, we have a golden amulet. Uh, let's take it. I think. Downward smash. Burns the ground, covers it with oil. Okay, I'll cover it with oil, I guess. I took it for the extra stats. The improved stats. Oh, wow. No. Tons of damage is being taken. Okay, I gotta heal up. That's why the potions are so important. Okay, and I'm also in trouble because I've not gotten to the... Uh, I have not gotten to a lamp yet. Oh. Alright, I gotta go back. Okay. Wow. This game gets really hard. It is extremely unforgiving. Okay, here's a light too. Oh, I must have just ran by this one too. All right, let's, let's upgrade here. I'm getting so nervous. All right, let's go. So we're at nine tacks. We're actually, you know what? We're actually recovering this run. I thought, whoa. 
Whoa, no, 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 no. That is dangerous. Oh no, I'm losing light. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I can't see anything. Oh no. No, that's why the squelter is so challenging. I lost the light, I was taking damage, and then it just multiplies and multiplies and multiplies until it takes you down. Oh, well, you know what? That was actually a good first run. You know what? It was it was filled with challenges. I did not get the items I wanted early. I thought I was in a place to recover, but the squelcher was just too unforgiving. Thank you so much for joining me. Have yourself an absolutely wonderful day.